Club? I, I don't mean to pry, it's just I had Tina morning and song with the glee club until 10.45 at the earliest. No, I had to get out of there. Felt like my head was gonna explode. Hey, 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 what, what the hell do you think you're doing? Principal Sylvester told us the candles have to go. She said she got a call from the fire marshal. You cannot let her do this. Um, he's the janitor. New Santana Lopez is right, old Santana Lopez. Under the tyrannical jackboot of Sylvester regime, I'm powerless. And I'm too overcome with Finn Hudson-related grief to fight back. Okay, this is, this is insane. Well, Donna, one of us farted, and I'm about 60% sure it wasn't me. You have no right to take down that memorial. Oh, as a matter of fact, I do, Sandbag. I allowed that memorial to remain in the hallway for over a week. Oh, please. You wanted that memorial gone because you're such a cold-hearted bitch. What did you just call me? A miserable, self-centered bitch who has spent every waking minute of the past three years trying to make our lives miserable. I'm officially over it. I don't care for your attitude. Well, I don't give a hot, wet monkey's ass what you care for. You are not my principal. See, I don't go here anymore, Sue. And that means I can finally tell you exactly what I think of you. I have hated you ever since the day I met you. You are a horrible person who never had a nice word to say about Finn Hudson. So don't you dare think for a second that he didn't hate you too. If I were you, I would choose my next few words very carefully. Well, what are you gonna do? You gonna expel me? You get the hell out of my office. How about you make me get the hell out of your office? Donna, call the police. Donna, you pick up that phone and I swear to God, I will shove my foot so That's that far assault. up. No, this is assault. Okay, I know that Finn had his doubts about God, but I am convinced that Squishy Teats is up in heaven right now, plopped down next to his new best friend, Fat Elvis, helping themselves to a picnic of baby back ribs smothered in butterscotch pudding and tater tot grease. So, this is for you, Hudson. You okay? You sang beautifully. I couldn't do it. There's only one more chorus. No, not the song. I had this whole plan to surprise everyone and not be a bitch for once in my life and say all these nice things about Finn and then at the last minute I chickened out. I even wrote them all down. Would you read it to me? No, I can't. Too embarrassing, they're like really nice. If there's one thing I've learned from Finn dying, it's that shame is a wasted emotion. I'm sure Finn had secrets too, but who cares now? Do you really think one day on your deathbed you're gonna think, oh good, no one knew I was kind? Okay. When we had sex, Finn never stopped asking me if I was okay the whole time. And he meant it. One time, Becky Jackson left a piece of chocolate birthday cake on my chair, and when I sat on it, it looked like I'd pooped my pants, and so Finn walked behind me until I could get out of school so no one saw my chocolate butt and thought that I'd messed myself. Yeah, you would have never let that one down. No. He was a much better person than I am. That is true. But Finn really cared about you. And I don't think you would have done all those things if you didn't think you were decent, too. Can you leave, please? Have a seat. Okay. 
Hey, look. All I can say is that I'm really... Shut up. You were absolutely right. Everything you said, you were right. I was horrible to that kid. And I'm utterly destroyed that he died thinking I didn't like him. Well, maybe this uh, could be a lesson, you know. Maybe you could Cut the crap. Oh, yeah. I don't care about that. I don't care about people. I care about him. <sighs> he was such a good guy. I'll never get to tell him. There's no lesson here. There's no happy ending. There's just nothing. He's just gone. <sighs> he would have made an excellent teacher. I thought I'd spend the next 30 years teaching alongside him. I thought I had all the time in the world to rail against him and his dopey little glee club. It's just so pointless. All that potential. It's a pretty hefty reward. It's not a reward. It's bait. I'm gonna kick the crap out of whoever brings that jacket back. And I want it back before I go home. Home? Here home? New York. That's my home now. I'm not coming back here for a while. More than a while. Maybe never. You know, I used to love coming here. But now this just reminds me of everything that I've lost. I understand. You should go. Well, geez, Mr. She, you don't have to rush me out of the door. <laughs> I'm a teacher. It's supposed to make me happy to see my kids grow up and leave the nest. Does it? I can say for a fact that it certainly beats the alternative.